protesting on the steps of parliament, residents of Tunis demanding a better life. We have no running water, no electricity. Our kids are marginalized. We drink rainwater. These sorts of demands fueled the 2011 uprising. They've continued ever since. But political rifts have blocked the reforms that might pull people out of poverty. Prime Minister Habib Isid is hoping his government will be different. An unlikely coalition, it partners a seed's secular party, Nida Tunis, with its main rival, the Islamist Anana Party. The new government will bring together the two dominant political forces in Tunisian politics, parties which have been deeply opposed for much of the last two years. Nida bet Anada in last year's election and campaigned on a strongly anti-Islamist platform. But the party says including Anada is a necessary compromise. Tunisia is trying to avoid the polarization that has fueled violence in Libya and Egypt. It's not an ideal government. Far from it. It falls far short of living up to the aspirations of all the people who voted for it. But I think we did the best we could under the circumstances. Anada is hoping its participation will guarantee its political survival. It's not an alliance with NIDA. It's a government of national consensus, made up of four political parties, especially since our participation in the government is only symbolic, with a single ministry and three junior ministries. Analysts say countries like the UK, the US, Algeria, Turkey, Saudi Arabia and Qatar push for the formation of the unity government. The Tunisians have sent a message. Tunisian voters sent a message. They chose Nida and Enhada. Now the country must get to work. It's a clear message. Critics, however, say the compromise is necessary to hold such a broad coalition government will prevent any decisive policy action. As far as the alliance goes, it is a government full of political calculations and divisions. It's a government that has no political nature and no objectives that could relieve the country from the deep crisis and deteriorating situation we are suffering. Millions of Tunisians will be hoping Habib Asid can prove his critics wrong and actually deliver the better life they've been seeking for years. Yasmin Ryan, CCTV, Tunis.